Hello everyone, it's Mr. Hadley here in the art room. Uh, all of you know by now that due to recent events, uh, you aren't actually able to be here in the art room for the time being. So uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that we still can't make art together. Um, I hope that all of you got a brown bag from your teachers. And in that brown bag, you'll find a booklet that looks similar to this one here. This is mine. The booklet is pink and it's got white paper in between stapled together. Uh, this is going to be my sketchbook. And I want your booklet to be your sketchbook um, for while you are away from art class. And you also have a pencil and the pencil is there just to help you get started. Um, this video is meant to give you ideas as far as what you could draw in the sketchbook. Um, but really whatever you wanna draw uh, is fine. Um, this video is meant to be just quick uh, lessons about what you could draw and they're meant for everybody. So I'm actually just gonna get started really quickly. So I have my sketchbook. Um, I wrote artist sketchbook by Mr. Hadley. I'm gonna open it up. And yeah, I'm just gonna get started with the first, with the first drawing that, that I've come up with. And again, you know, you don't have to follow along necessarily. You know, this is a video, you can pause it, you can stop it, you can fast forward to, you know, other parts of the video, cause I won't just be drawing this, I'll be drawing different things. But this is the first one uh, that I had in mind. Just gotta get my pencil. Okay, so. Uh, the first one is scribble art, and I'm sure some of you, if not a lot of you, already understand what I'm talking about when I say scribble art. So I'm going to take my pencil, and I'm going to actually start on the corner of my paper here, and without actually lifting the pencil off of the paper, I'm just going to start from one side of the paper and just draw a wavy line all the way to the other side. And I'm not gonna pick up the pencil. I'm just gonna keep going with the wavy lines. You can follow along with me. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. And you can pick up your pencil. Now, isn't that a beautiful scribble? I should say so. The next thing you can do with your pencil, you can actually use the side of this tip right here and you can actually start to color in with the pencil all of the white spots in between these shapes. Or if you don't have color, or if you do have color rather, if you have color, you can go ahead and color these spaces in between. That's fine too. Just an idea. So now that we have the scribble drawing, um, I'm gonna move on to another drawing. Now, this one is similar to the one we just did. However, it does have some differences. Gotta tape it here. You know, the, cool thing about, the cool thing about video is that you can kind of just stop and then go whenever you so please. Anyways, so the next idea that I had uh, for your sketchbook and I'm positioning my sketchbook horizontal. You don't have to do that. You can leave it, you know, vertical this way, the other way. I'm just positioning mine this way, just because I think it makes more sense for the, uh, for the video frame itself. Okay, so my next idea, I'm going to write. My name. You can write your name in your sketchbook. Uh, don't write Mr. Hadley unless you really want to. That's okay, too. Uh, and then after that, I'm going to actually use my pencil and draw around my name. So this is called drawing your name. You know, we're asked a lot to write our name, but what does it mean to draw our name? Does it mean to draw the shapes around it? After you're done drawing around those letters, I should have told you that the letters should be spaced apart, but that's why you have other pieces of paper in your notebook so that it could, they can be spaced apart. It's okay, you, you can. 
<laughs> no, it's okay. This is a practice run. This, this is a practice run, yeah. So. It's fine. Okay, and so tracing around the name. Afterwards, uh, you can just add some shapes. You can add some lines. And, you know, with the pencil, again, you can lightly with the pencil, because depending on how hard you press the pencil down on the paper, you know, that's gonna, you realize that the tip of your pencil will get more dull the harder you press down. So I suggest kind of, if you're gonna use the pencil to color in, I, use, I suggest using it lightly. But if you have color, you can do that as well. Again, using the whole page. You can go back into your name and just make shapes inside of those lines that you made before. And you can make more lines around. These are just sketchbook ideas. Alright, and if I actually draw on this whole piece of paper, that'll be pretty boring for you to watch. So, just an idea, right? Okay. The next sketchbook idea, I'm gonna keep the sketchbook actually vertical like this. Um, and we're gonna make a tree. Yes, a tree. I'm gonna keep the pencil down here, start right here, and I'm gonna make a line that goes up. It's gonna stop halfway, maybe a little bit more. There we go. And I'm gonna start another line that's next to that Stop at the same place. And then here's where it gets a little tricky. So you're gonna start on the top of that first line and bring this line kind of curvy to the edge of the paper. And then bring this line up and diagonal like the other one, but the other direction of the paper, towards the other direction. And then you start another line, which begins above this line here. Make another curvy line. And then similar to that one, right here. And then you want to start at this point right here at the beginning of the first one you made, going up this way, go up again. And at the other side, you start at that point and bring it back up again. And then you make an upside down triangle just like this here. And then if you have room, you want to make weird triangular shapes. Although maybe you have a better idea for a tree. I don't know. There's a tree. If you want to add leaves, you can add all sorts of leaves. Or just... And again, you know, depending on how hard you press down on the pencil, your tip will either be dull or stay a little bit sharp. And if you want to use color, that's totally cool as well. These are just ideas. Maybe you want a bird in your tree. Let's see if we can draw a bird. He's just chilling there. All right. So my next idea is sort of similar to that one that we just drew. And it's going to involve a tree, um, but not just a tree. So I'm actually gonna keep my sketchbook, uh, I'm gonna turn it horizontal again. Um, but this idea is gonna start right here. It's gonna start at the bottom, and you're gonna make a curved line that goes this way, not to the edge. And you're gonna leave a bit of, a, a bit of space in between this line and the next line you're gonna make. This is gonna curve that way. Then I'm actually gonna draw in between there I'm gonna draw a rectangle, or a square shape. And then I'm gonna make a roof. What does that remind you of? Add some detail in here with the pencil. And remember how I said it was a little similar as the other one? Well, I'm, now that I'm done with this part, for now, um, I'm actually going to find an area on this line right here. Start right here. I'm going to bring this line out this way. 
And then I'm actually going to start here now and make curved lines, bumpy lines. And it starts to give off and the same on the other side. Sort of like a tree, I'm making a tree house. A roof here, another house here. Now you can get really detailed with your tree house. I mean, we could just make bridges across here. If you had a tree house, what would it look like? What do you think? Bridge, maybe an upper deck here. Watch, watch the stars, watch the birds. But you gotta have a roof over this, over your bridge, because what if it rains? Of course, maybe you like the rain. You can have a little home for the birds here. They look like spots, but they're homes for the birds. I feel sort of like Bob Ross right now. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, treehouse. So yeah, these are just, you know, ideas, you know, I came up with that you don't have to do, but I really wanted to give you a sketchbook and a pencil just so that you can feel, you know, like, you know, that you're allowed to draw because sometimes, you know, Great art doesn't have to be made with a lot of materials. Sometimes all it takes is your courage, your creativity, a pencil, and a paper to make something very special. So my last couple of drawings are going to go a little fast. Um, we had the, let's see, we had the scribble art. We had the draw your name. We had the tree. We had the tree house. And then these next two drawings are gonna go like this. This next drawing is called Zentangle Drawing. Now I know some of you already know what Zentangle Drawing is. Zen, the word Zen basically means a feeling of calmness. And the feeling of calmness comes from the feeling after you take about maybe five to 10 deep breaths. I'm not gonna take five deep breaths because that would be too long. I took two. I'm pretty calm right now. So that calm feeling that you have, sometimes it's also easy to get calm with some music, you know, calming music around, uh, but deep breaths help me definitely. Um, but Zen Tangle, uh, the state of feeling calm, you know, the feeling of calmness and using that calmness to concentrate on small lines, shapes, and patterns. Again, taking deep breaths, maybe some calm music. And using that feeling to concentrate on lines, small shapes, patterns. I actually have a better example over here. Right there. All right, small shapes, focusing on little parts of the paper first. You know, I can tell that some of you might be like, where do I begin because this paper is so big? Well, number one, Focus on a little bit of the paper first. You know, see how I started in the corner? I did not start in the center because that's a little too overwhelming and we're trying to be calm. So, start in the corner. Just start in the corner. Just an idea, all right? Small shapes, patterns, lines that fill up the entire paper, right? You could color it in if you want, but it's usually black and white. Zen tangles. All right, for the next drawing, um, I wanted to kind of focus on something that um, 
we did talk about in fourth and fifth grade uh, just a couple weeks ago, optical illusions. Now, a lot of you remember drawing stairs. Uh, and the art, the artist we were focusing on was M.C. Escher. And we talked a little bit about how he, you know, drew some things that gave us a sense of, well, optical illusion. You know, it messed with our eyes. So this is a drawing. This drawing is going to be of what I call, or what is called, the impossible triangle. Now, I might mess this up a couple times, uh, but just bear with me. The impossible triangle. So this is how I started. You start with a triangle in the middle, okay? And then you go up here, a line, and then a line down here, and then a line going this way. After that line, after those lines are made, you gotta bring, start up here, you bring this line diagonally down, Pass this line here, down, 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 stop. Bring it over here. Pass this line here. Stop right there. After that line, you start at the bottom of this diagonal line here. Bring it straight across, but not as far as the bottom line that you just made. All right, this line should extend furthest from those two lines. And then you start here at the end of the line you just made and you bring this line up 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 no that was wrong that was totally wrong wasn't it wrong? no that wasn't wrong wait yes it was please remember if you're yep. staying past 3 30 to sign up on all right so I, I i messed that one up but it's okay, because mistakes are proof that we're learning, everybody. All right. Again, with the impossible triangle. It's difficult, but it's not impossible. Some of you probably already know how to do this, and if you already know how, then I'm sure you're capable of drawing other cool shapes as well. Um, but here we go, round two. You have a triangle, all right? And you have a line that goes up, extending that way. A line going down diagonally this way, and a straight line going this way, all right? And after that step, you want to bring this line down diagonally, and then across this way, pretty far this way, all right? Let's stop it there. And then what you want to do is bring this line, start down right here at the end of this line, bring it over, but don't go as far as the one on the bottom here. All right, stop right there. After that, you wanna start on this line up top here. So you have one, two, start right here. You bring this line up, 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 stop. And then you wanna bring this line that you just ended. You wanna bring this line down, 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 but you don't wanna pass this here. All right, stop right about there. And then you wanna bring this line, bring your pencil, all the way from over here to this one. So you have one, two, you wanna start here and you wanna bring this line all the way up to this point here, ready? Right about there. So that is a right about even with that, okay? And then what you wanna do is you wanna connect these lines one, two, three. That line shouldn't be there. But for the most part, we've made it, all right? The impossible triangle. Go ahead and see how it works out for you. So, so that concludes uh, the drawing for today. We drew about six drawings. It's okay if you didn't draw them all, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what was possible in the sketchbooks that you all got, along with the pencil too. I know it's difficult finding some materials, but uh, you know sometimes all art takes is a pencil, a piece of paper, and your courage and imagination. 
So I can't wait to hear about all of your drawings and see your sketchbooks. Please be safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you soon.